Please give a warm welcome to Miss Lee's Chapel. Welcome to Miss Lee and Miss Fuller's class chapel. While we finish getting the stage set up, I would like to take the opportunity to welcome our special guests who have come to watch and support us today. Moms and dads, thank you for being here. Thank you for helping us with our parts and putting up with us bebopping around the house singing our fun song. We'd also like to welcome any grandparents, special friends, and family members. We also thank you for taking time out of your busy schedules to be here. We also want to welcome our super special guest. We have a group of people here today who work with children. Thank you on behalf of children everywhere for, for your service. Thank you for answering the call to work with kids. We figure you have a few extra jewels in your crown in heaven. Now it is our pleasure to present to you our class chapel. Synonyms include character, 
decency, goodness, honesty, morality, righteousness, uprightness, and virtue. Whoa! You see, God's word tells us to live our lives so that we please the Lord. We are to make wise choices, respect others, and follow his commands. It also tells us to let our light shine. Our light? Yes, your light. You do realize we're talking to the TV, right? If you, will, if you will allow God to shine his light through you, you're letting your light shine. So, will glow like my flashlight when I'm outside in the dark? Not really. You'll shine, but it will be through your integrity. People will see a difference in the way you act and the things that you say and how they feel when they are around you. Integrity is doing the right thing even when no one's looking. It's being honest. It's being what God has created you to be. So, not cheating on your tests and erasing your teacher's mind, not telling your mom you cleaned your room when you just shoved it all into your bed, not stealing things from other people even if it's something little, that's integrity? You got it. Hey, flip over to Channel 25. Story time is about to come on. I think we'll help you understand. Welcome to Stories with Priscilla. I'm Priscilla, your host. Today's story is The Emperor's Sea. There once was an emperor from China who had no children and needed to choose a successor. Someone who would become the ruler when he couldn't rule anymore. Thousands of children from across the kingdom came to the palace and were surprised when the emperor explained that he was going to choose one of them. He gave them all a seed. They were to go home to their villages, plant the seed in a pot, and tend it for a year. When they returned in a year, the emperor would judge their efforts and choose his successor. There was a boy named Ling who received a seed and returned to his village. His mother helped him choose a pot and put some soil into it. Ling watered his pot every day. Once a week, the children of the village would get together to compare their plants. After a few weeks, there were signs of life in all but Ling's pot. The weeks passed, and Ling continued to water his pot every day. After a few months, the pots really came to life. Some had trees started to grow, some had flowers, and some had leafy shrubs. Poor old Ling still had nothing growing in his pot, leading the other children to make fun of him. Ling continued to water his pot every day. A year passed, and it was time to return to the village to show what had grown and decide who would be the future emperor. Ling was anxious as his pot still showed no signs of life. What if they punish me? They won't know that I watered my pot every day. They'll think I'm lazy. His mother looked him in the eye and said, Whatever the consequences are, you have to return and show the emperor your barren pot. <clears throat> Ling and the other children entered the palace gates. By now, some of the plants were looking magnificent, and the children were wondering which one the emperor would choose. Ling was embarrassed as the other children looked at his lifeless pot and scoffed. The emperor came out and started making his way through the crowd, looking at the many impressive trees, shrubs, and flowers that were on display. The boys all puffed their chests out and tried to look as regal as possible, hoping that they would be chosen as the heir to the empire. Then the emperor came to Ling. He looked at the pot, then he went to Ling. What happened here? I watered my pot every day, but nothing ever grew. Ling muttered nervously. Then the emperor grumbled something to himself and moved on. After a few hours, the emperor finally finished his assessment. He stood in front of the children and congratulated them on their efforts. Clearly some of you desperately want to be emperor and would do anything to make that happen. But there is one boy that I would like to point out as he has come to me with nothing. Ling, come here please. Oh no. <laughs> he slowly sauntered to the front of the group, holding his barren pot. Then the emperor held up the pot for all to see and the other children laughed. Then the emperor continued. A year ago, I gave you all a seed. I told you to go away, plant the seed, and return with your plan. 
The seeds that I gave you all were boiled until they were no longer alive and wouldn't grow. But I see before me thousands of plants and only one empty <coughs> pot. Integrity and courage are more important values for leadership than proud displays. So Ling here will be my heir, the next emperor. Wow, so having integrity really is important. Yeah, seems like it. Flip back to that commercial and she seemed to know what she was talking about. Welcome back. So did you like the story? Yes, I want to be a queen. Me too. You do, do you? Well, it's not going to be easy. It's not? Nope, but you can do it. The most important thing is to remember to ask God for help each day. Ask him to help you to do the right thing. Because it's the right thing to do. Now you're getting it. When you go through your day making wise choices, you shine the light of the Lord. You're actually living out Matthew 5, 16. Listen to this important verse. Let your light shine before men, so they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. Matthew 5, 16. Now go, be a queen, and let your light shine. Awesome. it's hard to make the right choice. It's tempting to be dishonest. The Bible says that we are to be honest and truthful and live our lives on the right path. And a matter of fact, Proverbs 10, 9 says, A man with integrity walks securely, but he who takes a crooked path will be found out. Integrity is more about just, is more than just being honest. It's about doing what's right for the right reasons. Not for attention, people telling you that you did great, or even rewards, but simply because it's the right thing to do. If you want to know if you're being a queen, ask yourself, how does my decision affect others? Am I considering other people's feelings? What would it feel like if it were happening to me? C.S. Lewis once said, integrity is doing the right thing even, even when no one is watching. That's the guy who wrote, wrote The Lion, The Witch, and The Wardrobe, and all of the other Narnia books. Do you want to be a queen? Well, do you? Then join us as we try to honor God in what we say, what we do, in our attitudes, and even when nobody is watching. Yeah, let your light shine. Let God's light shine through you. Hey, that reminds me of a song. Come on, guys, let's show them what we mean.
How about you guys sing with us this time? Come on! students so to give us this fantastic performance how many of you like it? Yeah. and Miss Fuller are you backstage I know you are probably helping with costume changes and so forth if you want to stick your head out here we would she's over there thank you Miss Fuller Miss Brown thank you so much well raise your hand how many of you want to be a queen Excellent. Put them down, please. I want to be an adult with integrity. So what would that be? A wee. We're going to be a wee's and they're going to be queens. But my bracelet says queen, so I'm going to be a queen. All right. I'm an older kid with integrity. I'm kind of a kid at heart. Huh? Boys and girls, I stood in the back. I could understand every word you said, the song, the moves. I did not know you had those moves in you. 
some of you worked very hard at those to stay together and everything, huh? Didn't you? Did you practice a lot? Uh huh. Because Miss Lee's all about excellence. And you did a fantastic job. You knew where to come out. You knew where to stand. You knew what to say. And folks, I would like to tell you that one of these students actually designed their t-shirts. Um, and that is pretty awesome. <laughs> <laughs> no, Ashton, come here. Awesome. 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 We've got some proud parents back there. All these students. Yes. So not only am I going to wear my Quee bracelet, but I'm going to wear my awesome t-shirt that you got me as well. So thank you for that. Well, you know, it's one thing to give a performance, and it's one thing, after it's over, to live out your message to us, right? Do the right thing, because it's the right thing to do. And it honors our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, right? All right, boys and girls, thank you for the gift that you gave us this morning through your performance. May I close this in prayer? <laughs>